Are you looking for a Prince Edward Island map? It seems to be one of the top Google searches these days. In this video, I'm going to show you five excellent utilities you can use to map the island. I'm going to show you one item you shouldn't be using for mapping on the island. And finally, I'm going to give you a long list of tools, including mapping, healthcare, immigration, and weather sources for the island. So continue to watch if this interests you. But before you do, press the little subscribe button, the bell beside it, and give the video a thumbs up. So essentially, item number one, which everybody loves, is a paper map. You can request the paper map for free from the PEI government at peiplay.com. It is the best map, much superior to what you're going to find in the grocery stores and the gas stations, because it has all the local attractions and trails and so forth on it. Number two, Google Maps, Google Earth work great. The aerial pictures from Bing Maps seems to be sometimes better than Google, so Bing would be my number three choice. Number four choice would be the government uh, mapping utility. The maps are kind of antiquated, but they do allow you to map property lines, property ID numbers. You can grab the GPS coordinates, which brings me to my next item, which is a Garmin GPS. Garmin GPSs work great. I've been using them for decades and they seem to be updated every single time a traffic circle is created here on the island. Which brings me to my next point, which is try not to depend on your phone unless you've downloaded maps onto it because many places you go on the island, particularly the North Shore, you're going to lose your cellular connectivity. So keep that in mind before you drive two hours out in the middle of nowhere and your phone doesn't work anymore. Finally, I'm going to give you a long list of different resources, multiple mapping sites, as well as places to locate schools, waste watch, garbage collection, all kinds of different stuff. So I'm going to put that in the links below, so check out the description. If you have any questions about Prince Edward Island in general or PEI real estate, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.